New at 6, the Arkansas Department of Corrections is adding beds to state prisons to help lower the backlog of inmates sitting in county jails. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams spoke to correction leaders about how this will impact local jails. The total there is 473 beds, which helps. Uh, and we've already seen it reflected in the backup, which is still way too high. The Arkansas Department of Corrections Communications Director Dinah Tyler says that more than 2,000 state prisoners are still in county jails across the state. Any bed we can add is going to help. In the last legislative session, Governor Sanders approved the construction of a new prison to hold 3,000 beds. What we are doing right now is working with other agencies to determine the best location for that prison or prisons. You know, it may be one 3,000 bed unit, it could be two 1,500s, it could be three 1,000. So we're looking at where do we put it? You can't just put a prison anywhere. You have to have certain things in place. But the time frame on the new prison is still up in the air. Now that's going to take some time. Um, we don't know exactly how long. It depends on when we get to start turning shovels. But I think a good guesstimate is about three years. Washington County Sheriff Jay Cantrell says a new prison will help in the long run, but they're still facing challenges right now. We're still going to be chronically uh, overcrowded and, uh, you know, the state makes up a good part of that. And, and certainly we have, we, we, we understand our obligation is to hold these, hold these people. Once they're convicted, we're obligated to hold them for a time until they're ready to go to prison. County jails across five countries are still facing overcrowding issues. Washington County Jail is the third largest in the state. It's designed as a temporary holding place until detainees can go to prison. Cantrell says they have 710 beds and they still had to hold people for up to a year. Now the backlog contributes to it. The backlog, because we've got about 180 right now that are uh, Department of Correction detainees, and, and they're paying us forty dollars a day, but they're they're waiting or have some reason to go to the Department of Corrections. So. Cantrell says about 150 inmates don't even have a bunk to sleep on. About 125 of those are new commitments that have been committed through the circuit court that are just waiting for a bed to open up. So, so if we could get rid of those 125 and a few of those uh, other 50 or 60 that are part of the state count. We might not have anybody on the floor. In Washington County, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News.